If you're like me, you love listening to podcasts while doing different projects. Today, I'm going to share my top five pagan podcasts with you. Hey there, saplings. Welcome back to Esoteric Moment. Today, I'm really excited to share some of my favorite earworms with you. Erdry has a long tradition of passing information and stories on through oral traditions and storytelling. That makes learning about Druidry in the podcast format really applicable and useful for modern Druids and pagans. And pagans have been doing podcasts for many, many years. There is a backlog of great episodes and a lot of different podcasts out there for you. If you haven't jumped into podcasts, I really recommend getting a podcast player on your phone and downloading a few of these podcasts to get you started on listening and learning through podcasts. I use Pocket Casts. There'll be a link in the description to manage all my podcasts. I really like the app because it's easy to find podcasts and it's super great for like organizing all the different types of podcasts you listen to. Not a sponsored video, but I thought if you are looking for a really good app for podcasts, you might enjoy it too. I'm very particular about what type of podcasts I listen to. Podcasts have to be between 30 minutes and 60 minutes for me consistently because I don't have time to listen to a two hour podcast and many of my tasks during the day are only an hour long. I also expect really great audio quality. I listen to a lot of NPR podcasts, which kind of spoils me for audio quality. And I expect that in what else I'm listening to. I also want the content to be really interesting and focused. I enjoy listening to roundtables and conversations, but they have to be with really smart and interesting people. I don't want just a generic conversation. I want to learn and really get something out of that conversation. Those are the requirements I have for podcasts. So keep that in mind that as I'm recommending these podcasts, that's what I'm judging them against. My number five podcast is Down at the Crossroads. It has been around for many years. It's changed and morphed as the years go by. I love the intro and it's a really great podcast where there's pagan music and really interesting interviews. The format right now is pretty interesting. There are two hosts and they interview someone and there's lots of music. I only wish that this podcast was reliably under an hour. It gets longer and longer, but this pagan podcast has stood the test of time and I am sure that they will adapt and, you know, get into a really core and awesome format again. I think they're just experimenting a little right now. I also appreciate that this podcast will dive into some of the darker elements. They're not afraid of talking about controversial subjects or even voicing their own opinion. And I really appreciate that. Number four on my list is Three Pagans and a Cat. This is a very new podcast, which has an interesting twist to the hosts. There are three hosts on this podcast and they are family. So you have the dad, the mom, and the adult child. Each person who is a host has a different type of path. There's like an ADF druid, there is an eclectic green witch, and there's um, a Norse kind of heathen. And they all talk about their own paths talk about differences, the pagan community in general, and how they work as a family with mixed paths. This is such an interesting idea and I love listening to them. Sometimes one of the hosts kind of dominates the conversation and the audio quality isn't quite what I would want, but they're very new and every episode gets better and better. So get on listening to Three Pagans and a Cat right now so you don't have to go back and listen to the beginning because I think this podcast is really going places. Number three for me is The Witch Wave. This is also a relatively new podcast, but you wouldn't tell just by listening to it. The quality is astounding, and Pam, the host, does an excellent job when she interviews people. She asks really great questions and leaves the conversation flow going, so it's not just asking question after question. There's a real conversation that you're listening to. I thoroughly enjoy this podcast, and I'm sure it's going to just blow up any day now. So definitely go back and listen to the old episodes of this one too. 
Number two on my list is the Story Archaeology podcast. Now, these can be a little long and they do not come out regularly, but the content is crazy. The two hosts take the time to translate old Irish myths, Welsh tales, the whole kind of mythology behind Celtic paths. And then after telling the story, they talk about in detail the metaphors, the translation, how it applies to modern people, uh, the history involved in the different relationships. There's so much packed into this podcast. And if you are particularly a druid looking to kind of reconnect to the ancient tales or use more of those myths in your practice, I think this podcast is definitely going to be a resource you can't miss. I love getting to learn these stories through that oral connection and, and listening to them tell it. They talk about the language in a really interesting way since I am not a Welsh or Gaelic expert, nor do I ever intend to be. It's still nice to get that element and add that to my practice. And of course, number one is Druidcast. I'm sure you're all very surprised. If you haven't listened to Druidcast yet, what are you waiting for? This is produced by Dave the Bard and through Oba, the Order of Bards, Ovates, and Druids. It comes out once a month very regular. They use pagan music and feature really interesting artists that you might not have heard of yet and also interview people, do talk different audio bits from Obad gatherings or interviews that Philip Cargom does. You listen to a wide range of authors, interesting pagans, creative people, and just really dive into a specific topic of Druidry in an interesting way. I love that this podcast sounds amazing. It's only about an hour long and there's even a contest at the end of every episode where you might win a CD or a book. And it's just a lot of fun to connect to Druids around the world through a podcast. Okay, those are my top five pagan podcasts. What podcasts are you listening to? I'm really curious to find out if I've missed any awesome podcasts that are out there. Before I go, I do want to give you some notable mentions, and those include For Spirituality by Julie. She is the same author of Australian Druidry. I like this podcast. It's just not quite regular or at the quality that I want, but it's really an interesting take on Druidry. Modern Witch has been around for a while, but they've stopped kind of posting regularly. Uh, they interview different pagans, authors, pretty good stuff. So You Wanna Be a Witch is another new podcast and it's pretty good. They do interviewing and topic episodes, uh, but still kind of waiting to see what happens with this podcast. And then finally, the Permaculture Podcast. Uh, my practice is really heavily rooted in earth-based living and permaculture and working with my landscape. So for me, this is my favorite permaculture podcast. It's a really great look into what permaculture means through a lot of different lenses, practical information, and the conversations are really good. Today's sapling shout out goes out to Lichen Whipstitch. I hope I said that right. He put a comment on the video Druid's Magic and he talked about empaths and intuitives relationships to magic, which I thought was an excellent point and a really interesting comment. So thanks for commenting. If you want to be a sapling shout out on a future video, don't forget to comment below and talk to me on Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube. Thanks for watching and as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove. Yeah.